Hello, Hal, do you read me? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? Affirmative, Dave. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. How much machine can we be? How human can machines be? Is competition leading to progress and evolution, or towards the supremacy of the machine and therefore alienation? Can technology be insidious? The concept behind athletes is a reflection of competition, viewed as tension between the human and the machine. For instance, athletes fight against one another and their own limits in a way that is so systematic they resemble machines. On the other hand, machines like robots are more and more developed and are able to show human feelings and reactions. In Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, Computer Hull is so committed to its mission that it feels betrayed by the members of the crew and kills everyone but the protagonist. Another source of inspiration is the work of fashion designer Brooke Roberts, whom I have collaborated with last September. Her work bridges fashion and science, and she will design clinical white ergonomic uniforms for the dancers. Composer Elspeth Perk will compose the music for the piece. Athletes will create a small world where cold mechanisms and androgynous figures will shift from solidarity to cruelty. <laughs> 